Games have evolved a lot over the last few decades with the advent of more impressive hardware and bigger budgets. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will take a look at 10 legendary retro games that are still being played today. It's almost an impossible task to narrow down all these games into a single defining list, but we've done our best. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Number 10, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's always hard to choose from legendary series like Sonic the Hedgehog, which have so many popular titles to choose from. While it is considered that Sonic CD may be the most creative and unique retro Sonic title, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 remains a must-play game of the series. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 included the Spin Dash as well as Sonic's level comrade Tails. It's a bit easier than the original and the level seems a bit more fleshed out. Sonic CD merges in the future and past stages, which is cool but a little confusing for newcomers, whereas Sonic 2 is straightforward in its mechanics while still offering massive stages with tons of secrets and fast-paced gameplay. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was often considered as the best Sonic game, if not of all time. The inclusion of the spin dash made the game feel faster and more absorbing, and stages such as the Chemical Plant and the Casino Night Zones are some of the best of all time. If you love Sonic Mania and have never gotten a chance to play the original series, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is among the incomparable platforms and has some of the best level designs seen to date. Number 9. Super Mario World it's a difficult task to choose one single Mario game that constitutes the best of retro platforming. Mario Theory is treasured, and Yoshi's Island is still a touchstone in gaming history. However, one Mario game that holds up over time has to be Super Mario World, to make it short. It's the birth of many iconic Mario features and one of the best entries to date. There is no game quite like Super Mario World. It's an utterly magical game that built on and improved the NES trilogy's formula and is arguably better than most, if not all, newer Mario games. The controls are far smoother than its predecessors, and the secrets and the highly explorable overhead map was staggering at during the time. Things like Star Road, Ghost Houses, and Riding Yoshis have been etched into Mario's history because of this game. Number 8, Resident Evil. Who can forget the time they first shot off a possessed farmer in Resident Evil 4, only to appeal to a Lovecraftian horror with tentacles squirming from his neck? This was Resident Evil Reborn, its creaky perspectives and gawky directional controls overthrown by a loser over the shoulder shot from the first perspective that felt at once elegant and intuitive. Instead of cheap haunted house frightens people in claustrophobic spaces, the story shifted to a lively exploration of diverting creepy areas punctuated by frantic scrambles to fend off the series' most inspired adversaries. Number 7, Tetris. The puzzle genre of gaming can sometimes be quite a struggle to find its audience, but Tetris has become a radiating light for other puzzlers. It's pretty fascinating how a simple game can be so addictive. If you aren't familiar yet, the game is about finding the best way to successfully shoot a block of a specific type into an empty space of an arranged group of colored blocks. <laughs> That's right, it's all about putting them together in the correct order to make lines causing them to disappear, which might seem easy but isn't so. There are a lot of video games that are entertaining to play but more or less amount to deserted experiences or effortless forms of escapism. They're immediately engaging in the short run, but they might not necessarily summon positive responses from the player's mind. Tetris is a different genre in this regard, and it's been proven the prolonged gameplay can lead to efficient brain activity. Number 6, Super Mario Kart. Everyone loves Mario Kart. From the racing grounds mayhem to the enjoyable four-player action, no one can deny that Mario Kart has aged beautifully and earned the top spot during its time. Yes, the latest installment is incredible as well, but there's just something pure, astounding, and straightforward about Mario's first time driving a weaponized car. There are no blue sparks to worry about, no confusing anti-gravity track, no distracting background enemies, and no shells to cry about. The classic offered only 8 razors to choose from, namely Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, Koopa Troopa, and Donkey Kong Jr., but that doesn't limit the fun that classy games have to offer. Number 5, Legend of Zelda A Link to Past. If Super Metroid taught us to fear the unknown, the epic quest of Link's made it thrilling once again. A top down high rail crammed with secrets and shocking surprises that it's a delight to explore, not at least when you figure out how the dark and light worlds groove together. 
Contrary to these days where you are nudged if you drift too far, here you are encouraged to get dreamingly and hopelessly lost, and you'll have a whale of a time doing so. If you ask any of the Zelda enthusiasts what title best represents the series' retro roots, Link to the Past would be the title that most of them would suggest. The Link to the Past was the only Zelda title published for the SNES, and it was really the only one that the console required. ALTDP really laid down the blueprint to how The Legend of Zelda would be running forward. Standard features like the Master Sword, the Hook Shot, and increasing health were all popularized here. More importantly, the game is simply a masterpiece and is so admired that a direct sequel was released in 2013 on the 3DS, which definitely created renewed interest in the original game. Number 4, Donkey Kong. The game set off to launch the career of a certain plumber. Nintendo's 1981 arcade hit was pivotal. Jumpman and his simian nemesis gobbled enough quarters to keep Nintendo before float and launch countless Kong spin-offs. The rest is history. When the Donkey Kong Country series made a showcase on the Super Nintendo in 1994, it was considered a graphical wonder. It provided 3D models and exceptionally detailed backgrounds, which were like a technical wizardry showcase on the 16-bit console. Today, the graphics are more appealing than impressive, but fortunately the game still works great. Number 3, Final Fantasy VI. The long-standing Final Fantasy series indeed found its mainstream success with its first 3D title, The Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation. However, most fans of the series would claim that it was the game's predecessor, the 2D Final Fantasy VI, that best represents the pinnacle of the series. Final Fantasy VI is still polluted for the story, its characters, which were impressively strong for a video game, and agreeably helped solidify the game as a legitimate narrative medium. The game's retro style may turn off some players, but it's a necessary game for those who wish to see what games are capable of, story-wise, especially when the game is over 20 years old. Number 2, Super Metroid. The game design ideologies of the Metroid series are still recognized in a wide variety of titles, and Super Metroid for the SNES is where those designs were arguably perfected. Super Metroid is a sci-fi game formed around exploration and the gradual acquisition of various weapons and items that grants you access to go back and discover previously unreachable locations of the gaming world. This design is so famous that it has a genre of its own, Metroidvania for the games that abstract heavily from the Metroid games. More than just an interest from gaming's past, Super Metroid still holds up as one among the top in the genre it helped create. Number 1. Pac-Man no retro list would be complete without a classic point-and-click adventure. Pac-Man was perhaps the first video game in America to become a mainstream cultural phenomenon. It was covered frequently by the press and even demonized at times. Unlike many 40-year-old video games, Pac-Man is still playable on modern hardware. Still, even decades on, it's worth looking at how Pac-Man is designed and why its gameplay endures. Pac-Man is the best game for today because Pac-Man socially distances itself from other creatures that exist. We're confident that some of the best retro games we've included here remain worthy of your time and still hold up well today. It's hard not to occasionally go back to the simpler days of the arcade era where the best classics that turned us into healthy, sleep-deprived gaming addicts that we are today. If you have missed your shot at any of these remarkable gaming experiences, correct your mistake with these best retro games. That's it for today's video. Comment down below if we've missed any of the legendary retro games. Thanks for hanging in there till the end. We'll see you in the next video.